Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to do part two of my massive semi-annual sale haul. So I'm gonna jump right in. I've got four boxes in front of me, and yeah, I went hard this time because I like the summer one so much better than the one that starts the day after Christmas. Um, there's just something, they always have way better stuff in the summer sale, so yeah, I just went crazy this time. So I'm gonna start with this box here. This has got, this one is mostly sprays and I've got a couple of, or I've got a few little other, other things, but mostly sprays and lotions. Um, so the first thing in this box is this here. This is the Aromatherapy Love um, Cacao Rose Body Lotion. This is pretty. I was hoping that I would be able to smell the cacao in it more than I can. Um, I really mostly just get a fresh rose, which is perfectly fine, but yeah, I really was hoping that it would be a little bit softer, that I would get the cacao, and I'm not really getting much cacao. Just kind of a fresh, realistic rose. So I'll use it happily. It'll be fine. But yeah, so that is the first thing I picked up. I think these are the only three in this box. I picked these wallflowers up. The first one here is called Spiced Cardamom. I was dying to get this one. This one is Cardamom, Cinnamon Spice, and Dark Cedarwood. I think it's going to be amazing in the fall and winter. Um, Cactus Blossom, which I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, I discovered Cactus Blossom last summer, and I just love it. This one is uh, Cactus Flower Petals, Sun-Kissed Coconut Vanilla, and Fresh Sparkling Lemon. It's just such a pretty, like, fresh fragrance. And then this one here, Strawberry Pound Cake. I'm obsessed with Strawberry Pound Cake. I tried to pick it up in as many things as I could. This is Fresh Strawberries, Golden Shortcake, and Whipped Cream. Um, I'm obsessed with the body lotion, the Strawberry Pound Cake body lotion. You guys had recommended it to me last summer and for whatever reason I didn't pick it up back then. Um, so I made sure I did it this time around and holy cow, I know why so many people recommended it now because it's amazing. Um, okay, let's see here. I picked up this fragrance here. This is the Buttercups and Berry Bellini. I picked it up in the body cream as well as the body spray. Um, I love this. I think um, Aaron, I think this is the fragrance that you were talking about when you said that they came out with one last year that had that was like a strawberry fragrance that had berries like little berries all over the packaging i'm thinking this is the one that you were talking about and yeah this is strawberry puree buttercup flowers and bubbly prosecco this smells amazing oh my gosh it's so good it smells like a really it smells like a really sweet fresh strawberry puree I love it. I'm so super excited to give this some love this summer. It's like the perfect summer berry yummy fragrance. Okay, next I picked up this fragrance here. This is the these are this is this steeped invigoration line. Um, and this is rose and tangerine rose tangerine and tea. So when I first smelled this. I was a little bit disappointed because I was like, again, all I'm really getting is this kind of fresh rose. I'm not getting much else from it. But then when I put this one on my skin and when I sprayed the body spray, you know, you definitely get this really beautiful, almost astringent smelling tea note. It's really, really nice. It's very, very fresh, clean, and tea-like, and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's, it says tea extract, rose, and tangerine essential oils. So it's made from essential oils. It smells super, super fresh. It smells very natural. It smells, um, it just smells really nice. So it's kind of like a spa kind of fragrance. So I am glad. At first I was not happy I picked this up. I was like, oh, I shouldn't have gotten that one. But now I am happy I picked it up because I think it's going to be one of those great scents to just relax in. It's going to make you feel really 
like, I don't know, calm and zen and like you're kind of having a spa experience. So anyways, that is the rose, tangerine, and tea fragrance. Next, this is one that I picked up at the last second and I am so glad I did. I almost was not gonna grab this. I wish I had gotten the body spray in this before it sold out, but I'm happy to just have the lotion. This is the one in a million lotion. This is jasmine extract, tuberose oil, white gardenia, pink pepper, and cashmere musk. It's basically this beautiful, sweet, white floral. I love it so much. It reminds me a lot of the gardenia lotion that I've got um, that I picked up in the last sale, which is just this really beautiful, like sweet gardenia. And this is the same, but it's sweet white floral. It's jasmine, gardenia, and tuberose. Oh, it's so good. I love it. It's so girly smelling and so, I don't know. I just love it so much. So yeah, I am so happy I grabbed this one. This might be one of my favorites that I grabbed in the sale besides the strawberry pound cake. So anyways, that is one in a million. Next, I picked up this <laughs> scent, and I had really high hopes for this. I thought it was gonna be a lot better than it is. This is the Golden Ocean Pearl. Um, this is Bergamot Breeze, Vanilla Orchid, and Golden Amber, and it smells fine. Like, it smells really, really nice, and I think it's gonna be a great base for pretty much anything because it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of just this nondescript, kind of warm, kind of warm, cozy scent. Um, it didn't last very long though. This is one of those fragrances that just kind of disappears pretty quickly. Um, but I don't know. I guess I was just hoping that I would love it more than I do. It's not bad. There's nothing bad about it. It smells really nice. It's super cozy, um, especially for being a warm weather fragrance. It's a very cozy warm weather fragrance. And this is the only one that I picked up from this line. Um, but yeah, I'm tempted because they've still got a ton of stuff. I'm tempted to go back and get the rest of this line. <laughs> Not that I need it. Um, I think I've got like two more things coming in the mail that they had to ship separately. So, but I didn't want to wait for them to film this. Um, but anyways, that is Golden Ocean Pearl. I did grab that. You guys will have to let me know how you feel about Golden Ocean Pearl. I think it's pretty. I think it's perfectly fine. I just don't think it's amazing. Okay, and then the rest of these in this box are hand soaps. I picked up strawberry, strawberry pound cake hand soap. Um, I picked up this one here. This is peach prosecco mac macaron. Um, I never know how to say that word macaron. I think it is. I think that's how you say it, macaron. But so, anyways, I've got that one. I picked up this one here, Vanilla Cloud. I'm super excited. Let me tell you what the note's in. I didn't want to say Strawberry Pound Cake over again because I've said it a million times. So Strawberry, sorry. So Peach Prosecco Macaron is Peach Prosecco, Vanilla Cream, and Macaron Cookie. Um, it sounds amazing. Vanilla Cloud is Whipped Vanilla, Apple Blossom, and Sandalwood. Super excited about that. Um, I picked up Fiji White Sands. This is White Sands Vanilla Orchid and Warm Amber. I picked up this one here, White Oak and Vanilla. This one is Sweet Vanilla Cream, White Oak and Warm Amber. And then I picked up this one here, Tulip Gardens. This is Spring Showers, Tulip Fields, and Lush Greens. I love scents like this for the bathroom. I just, I don't know. I think they're they're so just like uplifting and clean smelling in the bathroom. Box two, I'm just gonna have to reach down for it because this is crazy, you guys. I can't believe that I bought as much as I did. Okay, this is the first thing in this box that I picked up. This is the In The Stars Moisturizing Body Wash. Um, this is Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugared Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. This has got that kind of Baccarat Rouge 540 yeah, um, scent profile just a little bit. It's not, it's not like too, too much so. But I love these moisturizing body washes. I love the consistency of these, but they all have this kind of weird synthetic smell that takes away from the fragrance of them, which is one thing I don't like. Um, but I do love the consistency of them. They're very, it's kind of like, washing with a like a lotion soap 
kind of, or like a lotion-y body wash. Um, it's really, they're really, really nice. So yeah, I try to pick these up anytime I see them in the sale because they're really inexpensive. Okay, next I picked up, I hit the sale at just the right time. Um, they had all a bunch of their single wick candles on sale for like $3.87, which is an amazing price. Um, I don't pick these up at like I, I'll pay $5 for one, but I really won't pay more than $5 for them because at that point you can just wait for a good candle sale and you can get the three wicks for, you know, a few dollars more and it's just not worth it for me. But at $3.87, I think that's an amazing price for these. So I've got every one that I could. Um, the first one I got is this one here, Pink Lemonade. Um, some of these have the notes on them and then some of them don't. This one does. This one is sweet strawberry puree, acai berries, and fresh lemonade. Um, ugh, it smells amazing. It smells so good. It smells like pink lemonade. The next one I got is this one here. This is iced dragon fruit tea. Um, and yeah, you guys definitely are going to need to like get a snack, get a drink, because we're going to be here for a while because I still have... I still have two more full boxes of body care after this. Um, okay, so Ice Dragon Fruit Tea is... Yeah, see, this one doesn't have the notes on it, which is so sad. Yeah, and the regular price on these are $15.50, which is crazy. You can get, even if you pay full price for a three wick, it's $24.50. You're gonna get three times the burn hours out of it, or the burn time out of it. And, you know, for nine more dollars, I would just buy a three wick. I wouldn't waste that much money on these. But anyways, Ice Dragon Fruit Tea, this, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's really, really tart and juicy smelling. Yeah, it's like a really juicy, tart tea. Like if you guys have ever had the Dragon Fruit Teas from Starbucks, it smells like this. Or that's what the candle smells like. It's so nice. So anyways, I got that one. Um, I got this one here. This is linen and lavender. This one is so much better than I even thought it was going to be. Um, this one doesn't have the notes on it either. But oh my gosh, this is so good. It's lavender, but it's re it's got a slight sweetness to it. And it's really clean. It's like a clean white laundry scent with a little bit of lavender in it, but it doesn't smell overly synthetic. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I think this might be my favorite one that I got. It's so, so good. So there's that one. And then I got this one here. This is Ocean Driftwood. This is Beachside Oak, Sea Washed Mahogany, and Ocean Lavender. Oh, it's so good. This is kind of a men's cologne like a, yeah, kind of like a masculine kind of cologne type scent, but it's fresh and clean and really nice. It would be great for a bathroom. Okay, I got this one here. This is Eucalyptus Rain. This is, this one doesn't have the notes on it. This one's super, super light smelling, like I can almost not smell anything, but it just smell, what I can smell is just this super fresh, kind of clean laundry scent. It's nice. I'm hoping this one's going to be better burning. Um, and then I got this one here, Fiji White Sands. This does not have the notes on it, sadly. Oh, but I've got the notes on the soap. So again, this one is White Sands, Vanilla Orchid, and Warm Amber. It smells amazing. It smells like a beachy, kind of coconutty scent. It smells really, really good. Okay, next I got this one here. This is Coastal Watermelon. Um, this is Juicy Watermelon, Pinch of Pink Sea Salt, and Ocean Waves. Ugh, it smells like watermelon. It smells like a light, fresh watermelon scent with maybe some citrus in it. My, the lid of mine got super like dented up. But anyways, that one's called Coastal Watermelon. I got this one here, Pink Lilac and Vanilla. This does not have the notes on it. This is super pretty. It smells like, it smells like a fresh green kind of lilac scent, but then it's softened by vanilla. It's kind of got like a baby powder aspect to it, a little bit powdery, but I really like it. So Pink Lilac and Vanilla. And then the last one I got is Hibiscus Waterfalls. 
This is Tropical Hibiscus Sweet Peach Nectar and Fresh Waterfall Mist. Ugh, this one's so pretty. This is kind of a, it's like a fresh, like a clean laundry scent, but it's got that kind of beachy, like oceanic thing going. It's clean, really pretty and clean. Okay, next I've got another, this is box three, and this has got a ton of three wicks. These are, these are the last of all of the three wicks that I ordered, but I ordered a lot. So um, the first one I got is this one here. This is Laundry Day, and this is Fresh Air, Crisp Eucalyptus, and Soft Lavender. Ugh, it's beautiful. It smells like laundry detergent. I love it. I had a wallflower of this that I put in one of my bathrooms one time and it smelled so good. It just smells like, like clean, fresh laundry. So anyways, there's that one, laundry day. Okay, the next one I got is this one here. This is warm apple pie. This has got the 4th of July or like the, yeah, like the fireworks on it, like the 4th. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pull this one out. I've got a banana bundt cake one burning right now, which it was a dud. It's been burning terribly. Thankfully it still smells, but it's just burning really badly. So I'm just going to let it burn like 24 hours a day until it burns out because it's, it's just not burning well. But yeah, this is going to be the one that I pull out, which I should be able to get this one out by the 4th. Um, this one is baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, and flaky homemade crust. This is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles. It's so yummy. When you burn it, it smells like apple pie, like you're baking a fresh apple pie. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. So yeah, warm apple pie. Next, I got this one here. This is Summer Boardwalk. This is, again, this is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles. I love this so much. This is caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, salt and salty sweet cream. And this smells a lot like, it kind of reminds me of the warm apple pie, but then it also kind, kind of reminds me of like the pumpkin apple one in the fall. So you get this kind of, it smells summery, but you get this like kind of fall coziness too. I just love it so much. It's so good. So anyways, that one is Summer Boardwalk. Okay, this next one, I was nervous about this one. Um, this is Raspberries and Whipped Vanilla, which sounds amazing, but sometimes these can smell good on cold sniff, but they're, they don't smell that great when you burn them. Um, this one is Pink Raspberries, Strawberry, Vanilla Bean, and Sugared Lemon Drops. And it smells, again, it smells really good in the like on cold sniff, but we'll see. Sometimes these end up smelling really sharp and synthetic when they're burning, and which is just not what I love. I love a cozy, I like my house to smell like something yummy is baking, like at all times, like that makes you come in and want to eat pastries. Um, and sometimes, sometimes these just don't burn well. So yeah, I was nervous about this when I ordered it, but I'm gonna give it a go and we'll see how it does. Okay, next is this one here. This is brown sugar latte. This came out, this was a Christmas candle. I love this. It's like a sweet coffee scent. It's a sweet coffee. This is um, freshly roasted coffee, frothed milk, and sugared praline. It smells so good. I think I had one of these. I think I burned one this past Christmas and it was really nice. So anyways, that one is brown sugar latte. Okay, next we've got this one. This is the only blend candle. They came, I think they came out with these blends for this sale. Um, this is the only one that I picked up. This is the Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla and Paris Cafe. Um, Oh, it's so good. It smells like Paris Cafe, but if you added cinnamon to it, I love Paris Cafe. It's one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles. I think it smells amazing. It makes your house smell like a coffee shop. And this is going to be just the same, but it's got a really beautiful cinnamon note. I'm a, such a lover of cinnamon and fragrance, so I'm super excited about that one. So that is Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla and Paris Cafe. Next, I've got this one here. This is Iced Lemon Pound Cake. And, oh. Sorry, I didn't even tell you the notes in the Paris Cafe 
So this one is rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, and ground, no sorry, ground cinnamon and sugar crystals. So super excited about that one. Um, iced lemon pound cake. I think this packaging is super cute. I'm usually not a fan of butterflies, but I just think this packaging is really pretty. So ice lemon pound cake is sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. It smells so good. It smells like a yummy lemon dessert, like lemon ring pie. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I want a lotion that smells like this. I want a, 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 I want a body care line that smells like ice lemon pound cake. Oh, I would be in heaven. Okay, next I picked up this one here. This is hot fudge drizzle and I love their chocolate scented candles. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They make your house smell like you've got brownies baking in the oven. This is rich melted chocolate, vanilla bean, and a dash of brown sugar. So yeah, I fully expect this to make my house smell like a brownie dream. I'm super excited. So that is hot fudge drizzle. Next, we've got this one here. I'm super excited about this one. This is another winter candle. This one is called Cozy Cashmere, and this is smooth lavender, warm vanilla, and comforting sandalwood. Oh, it smells so good. It is super, super cozy smelling. You can smell the lavender. You can smell the vanilla. The sandalwood smells kind of synthetic, but it's super cozy smelling. The candle is just really cozy smelling. It's another one of those more kind of perfumey candles rather than like a bakery scent. Um, but yeah, I am excited about it. I do. I do enjoy burning kind of a perfumey candle every once in a while. Okay, and next we have got Pink Petal Tea Cake. Um, I picked up another one of these. I've got three of them now, which I feel like will get me through until the next sale. Um, this is Pink Rose Petals Pound Cake and Vanilla Glaze. This is again one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles. It smells amazing on cold sniff. It smells amazing burning. It smells just like it does in the jar than it, as it does when it's burning, which is what I love about it. Um, it doesn't smell weird or synthetic. It's just such a good scent. Oh my gosh, it smells like a super creamy, like vanilla pastry. It smells like a vanilla cake if you drizzled it with like rose water syrup. It's so good. So anyways, that is Pink Petal Tea Cake. It's one of my favorites. Okay, next we've got a kind of cologne scent. This is Mahogany Vanilla. Um, this is Warm Vanilla, Fresh Bergamot, and Sweet Sandalwood. Yeah, it's another kind of masculine um, kind of cologne scent, but it smells really pretty. This one is creamy because of the vanilla in it. Um, but yeah, it smells like a, a nice smelling man. Um, so anyways, that is Mahogany Vanilla. Next we have this one. I got another strawberry pound cake. I'm telling you, I am obsessed. Fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Um, I think I've got three of these now and I'm super excited. I haven't burned one yet, but I can't wait to because I love the way this smells. They just smell so good. The strawberry pound cake scent is just so yummy. Um, so yeah, that one. Okay, last two. I got this one here, hot cocoa and cream. I burned one of these last Christmas. This is another Christmas one. Um, ah, uh, so good. This is decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. It makes your house smell like you're baking brownies in the oven. It's so good. So yeah, that is hot cocoa and cream. I love this packaging on this one too. I'll probably save, um, yeah, I'll definitely save these Christmas ones for Christmas or winter. Okay, and then the last three wick candle is this one here. This is the Love Candle. It's another Christmas one. This is Cotton Candy Champagne. Um, oh, this is so good. I never picked this one up last year because, I don't know, sometimes the champagne scents um, don't, the they don't burn well in candles. This one is Bubbly Rosé, Sweet Strawberry, and Pink Sugar. Um, it smells so good. I just, I really get a lot of strawberry out of this one. I'm hoping it burns nicely, but it's beautiful. It smells so good. So anyways, that is the Love Cotton Candy Champagne Christmas Candle. Um, okay, I picked up one more wallflower. This is the White T-Shirt Wallflower. Um, this is Crisp Pear, Lavender Cloud, and Soft Sandalwood. 
I love these scents for the bathroom. I think they're great. Okay, I picked up three more of the car scents. Um, this is Sun Drenched Linen, Pink Lilac and Vanilla, and Fresh Cotton and Coconut. Um, I have, or Fresh Coconut and Cotton. I have this one in my car right now and it's so good. I love it. I've got it in a visor clip. So I've got a visor clip and I've got one of the vent clips. I think I like the visor clip more in the summertime because the heat of the car um, makes it really fragrant, but then in the winter time, I like the vi the vent clip better because I'm always running the heat in the winter time, and then the heat obviously makes the fragrance come out more. So it just really depends on what time of year um, it is, I guess, which depends on which one I'm using. Right now, I'm using the visor clip, but. When it gets cold again, I'll use the bent clip. I picked up three more of these bar soaps. These bar soaps are so good. I'm using the at the beach one in the shower right now. These things are super creamy. They lather up beautifully and they're just great bar soaps. I had no idea that Bath and Body Works even made bar soaps, but I am such a bar soap junkie. There's one thing that you guys will notice. I didn't, I don't think, Yes, I bought one body wash this time around and no more because I don't go, I'm not going through them the way that I usually do. Um, but anyways, because I'm a bar sub girl. But I picked up Cucumber Lily, but it's pretty. It's like a kind of fresh floral. So Cucumber Lily. I picked up Sunshine Mimosa, which I can't smell in the, I can't really smell it, but... Yeah, these bar soaps are so nice. I will tell you that at the beach one doesn't smell like at the beach at all. It smells like my husband's cologne, honestly. It smells very, very masculine. And then I picked up this one here, Fresh Getaway. Um, I think this is gonna be a great bar soap scent. So yeah, those are the three bar soap, and these were like $2. They were so, it was so worth it. They're really, really nice soaps. Never mind, I picked up two body washes because one, it was the only thing I could get that scent in was the body wash, and I wanted to smell it so badly, so I grabbed it. Um, okay, next I picked up some more hand soaps. These are the last of all of the hand soaps that I picked up. Um, I picked up Pineapple Prosecco. This is another one. I love these labels that they did. Um, there's a strawberry pound cake label like this. There's there's like the white white sage and tea mint, not mint, um, white sage and tea label that's like this. I think these labels are so pretty. So this is sparkling pineapple, bubbly prosecco, and white nectarine. Um, I picked up a warm vanilla sugar. I I just can't help myself. This is creamy vanilla and sparkling sugar crystals. Anytime I say something warm vanilla sugar, I have to pick it up, I just love it. I picked up Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I've got one of these in use in my kitchen right now and I love this scent, it's so good. This is Marshmallow Fluff Vanilla Bean and Creamy Caramel. It's so good. It smells like you're washing your hands with cake frosting or something. It is amazing. So yeah, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I picked up another Vanilla Coconut, which I was so happy. This is one of my favorite scents. It is so good. Um, this is Whipped Vanilla Peach Blossom and Warm Coconut. It's amazing. It's an amazing coconut scent. And then the last hand soap I picked up is this one here. This is white t-shirt. So this is crisp pear, lavender cloud, and soft sandalwood. Um, I don't think I've smelled this one yet. So. Ugh, it smells good. It smells clean and fresh. So yeah, white t-shirt. Okay, these next three, these are body creams that I picked up. Um, the first one I picked up is this one here. This is called Sea Island Shore. And this is crisp white cotton, clean linen, and fresh orange, sorry, fresh orange blossom, blue freesia, and ocean musk. This is like an intensely fresh, clean laundry scent. It's really, really strong. Like, this is one of those that you're, I've got to go, like, kind of easy with it, because it could easily give me a headache. It's really, really strong, but it's really pretty and fresh and, like, fresh laundry. Um, I've got that cozy 
sweet essentials oil that smells like fresh laundry that I think is going to layer beautifully over this. It's really nice. Um, ugh, and then I picked up two from this bakery line that they did. I picked up the whipped berry meringue. This one, oh, it's so good. So this is fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. Oh, it's so good. It smells like a vanilla and berry scent. It's really, really nice. So I'm happy I got that one. I was sad to see that they didn't have the pear creme brulee one available at all. Um, I wish I could get my hands on that one. Um, and then I got this one, coconut cream pie. And this one, it's funny because I was a little bit disappointed when I started to put this on, but then I realized that it reminds me of warm vanilla sugar, but if you just added a coconut note to it, it's this really beautiful, warm coconut scent, like warm vanilla coconut. Um, so this is toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. And, oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's so yummy. It's a really warm pastry coconut scent. It doesn't smell beachy. It smells like a gourmand coconut and I adore it. So yeah, I am super excited. I will probably blow through this this summer because I've been on such a coconut kick and this is such a beautiful lotion to layer anything coconut over. So anyways, that is coconut cream pie. Amazing. Okay, next I, pick it, I picked up this one. I wish I would have gotten more things in this scent because it smells amazing. This is the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This is the Beachy Glow Body Lotion though. So this is, I'll show you guys. It's, um, so it's got like a tint to it. So it's not like too crazy, but it does give you a little bit of like a glow and it's got some micro glitter in it. So it definitely like gives your skin this really beautiful glow. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like pineapple. So you can see it kind of like how glowy it made my hand. It's so pretty. Oh, this smells so good though. I wish I would have gotten the body spray. This lotion, I don't know if it's because it's like a tinted lotion or what, but it does, the scent doesn't last for long at all. Like I won't be able to smell it in probably, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. This is Sweet Pink Pineapple Palm Sugar and Sun Drenched Nectar. Gosh, I wish I would have picked this up. They had the lotion and the body spray at the beginning of the sale. It's completely sold out now. And I, I only got it in this because I knew this was like a tinted product and that I would like it. It smells so good. It just smells like pineapple juice. It's so good. So anyways, that is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Okay, and then the last two lotions in this box that I picked up are this one here. This one is Gingham Heart of Gold. Um... I was so disappointed in this. I didn't like it at all. This one is crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. I was expecting more out of this, and I don't like this at all because it's not very fragrant. I'm getting the, like, the raw lotion scent more than any other fragrance. Like, I'm really not getting... I get a touch of the apple. I'm really not getting vanilla or sandalwood. It's it's like a raw lotion scent with maybe a touch of apple. I don't know. I was just super disappointed in this. I didn't think that this one was very good at all. So that is the Heart of Gingham Heart of Gold. And then next I got this one here. This is Summertime Surf. This is Vanilla Breeze, Sea Salt Sands, and Sunny Coconut. Um, this one... It might be, see, this is why I don't like to get these body lotions either. I would much rather get them in the body cream. Um, I don't think that they had this one available in the body cream. These, I like these so much better. I feel like the fragrance is better in those than in these because I feel like, again, I'm getting that kind of raw lotion scent and like a hint of coconut and not much more. So I'm just not... I'm just going to give away these these lotions because I'm just not a fan of these. I don't think that they smell very good. I feel like the body creams are, like the scent is much more concentrated in them and it just they just smell better. 
So yeah, that one is Summertime Surf. Okay, and then the next two, these are the only two shower gels that I got. Um, I picked up this one, this is Fresh Getaway. This is Bright Yuzu Citrus and Fresh Open Ocean Air. Um, I just felt like this would be such a pretty, or just like such a nice, super citrusy, like invigorating, like shower gel to use. Okay, and then the last, um, body wash that I got is this one here. This is the Pastel Skies. Um, I wanted to smell this so bad, this fragrance, but this was the only thing I could get it in. I kept trying to order the body spray. I put it, I ordered it twice. It got canceled off of both orders. So, um, this is Soft Cloudberries, Pink Sponge Sugar, and Coconut Musk. I've heard great things about this scent. Um, it smells like I can kind of smell it in the body or in the shower gel, but you know, these shower gels aren't the most fragrance things in the world. Like I can get an idea of what it smells like. Yeah, I so wish I could have gotten this in the body spray though. But anyways, yeah, that is Pastel Skies. Okay, and then this is the last box here. It's full of body care. So I will quickly go through this. Um, Okay, so I picked up this. This is the Orange Vanilla Twist. This is Juicy Orange Summer Sherbet and Vanilla Cream. So I was pretty sure that it was gonna smell like an orange creamsicle and it does. I'll have to see about this one. Um, there's something, it smells pretty synthetic in there that I don't know if it goes weird on my skin, I'm gonna have to just pass it along, but Oh, it's so fun. It smells like orange. It smells like an orange cream, like an orange creamsicle. It's fun. So, so anyways, that is the orange vanilla twist. Okay, this is the one that I'm not sure about. This is the cinnamon donut swirl. Um, I wore this one yesterday. Not yesterday. I wore this one and I, um, I did spray some perfume over it. So this is sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. Um, this one's okay, but I think it's the dough. I think it's whatever they're putting in it to give it that dough smell is, makes it go a little bit weird. So like, I love the cinnamon and the brown sugar aspect to it. I don't know that I love the dough. So it, it's just a little bit weird on my skin, but I want to say that after I'd been wearing it for a little bit, the, it kind of, I don't know, it was it starting to smell like really kind of nice. But anyways, yeah, it's, I don't know. This is one I'm still on the fence about. I, again, I wish I could get everything in the body creams. I just feel like they smell so much better than these lotions. These lotions always have that kind of raw lotion scent to them that, I don't know, it just, it takes, away from the fragrance of the lotion so much. So anyways, that is Cinnamon Donut Swirl. I'm on the fence about that one. Okay, next, the only thing I could get in this scent here is the, it was the spray. This is Bubblegum Pop. And, oh, this smells so good. It smells like, it smells like bubblegum. It's so, so super fun. This is gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burst. Oh, it's so good. I love this. Somebody else was like, I'm so obsessed with that scent. Do you know of a scent that, or of a perfume that smells like it? Yes. Moschino Toy 2 bubblegum. It smells like it's a bubblegum perfume. It's amazing. It performs pretty badly, but not nearly as bad as this. You can get maybe 15 minutes out of this before it just turns into a kind of generic sweet scent. You don't get that bubble gum for very long, but it's still, it's, gosh, it's still so fun. I'll just, I'll just enjoy it and spray it and spray it and spray it until it's gone. And yeah, I love it. I'm so happy to have it though. So that is the bubblegum pop. I don't think that they came out with the lotion in that scent either. Okay, next I got this scent here. This is the, oops, sorry. This is the Sunshine Afternoon. So this is Golden Peaches, Honeycrisp Apple, and White Woods. This one smells pretty good. Yeah, this one smells nice. This is, it's super warm. It's like pretty warm smelling and yeah, just nice. So that'll be nice. I think this one, I 
think this one's gonna be really nice in the fall because it's kind of cozy. It's kind of like a cozy apple scent. So anyways, that is Sunshine Afternoon. Next, I got this. I picked up the Coconut Cream Pie um, spray to go with the lotion. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this scent. Again, it's toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. It's, it's like warm vanilla sugar, but with coconut in it. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I love it so much. So yeah, that is the coconut cream pie spray. I'm glad I picked it up. I also picked up the country apple spray to go with the lotion that I had hauled in the first part. It's just, I love country apple because it's not sweet. It's not a sweet apple. It's a super fresh, crisp apple and it can take you through the entire year. It, it's like all seasons apple, it's great. So this is Apple Blossom Fresh Mugay Sheer Sunlight and Orchard Woods. It's a really beautiful apple, it always has been, so. Okay, next I picked up this one. This is Fairy Tale. Um, this, I've had so many people tell me this smells like YSL Libre, so I was like dying to get my hands on this lotion because I don't have any kind of lotion that smells like Libre that I can layer my Libre perfumes over. This is Pomegranate Nectar Fresh Orange Blossom Vanilla Bean and Warm Amber. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting Libre from this. Um, I guess I am a little bit, but this doesn't have the richness or the depth at all that Libre has, and I feel like this would take away from the perfume. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna give it a try. I'm gonna layer the two um, and hope that this doesn't detract from the beauty of Libre. Um, so yeah, it does, I definitely see where, I definitely see where people get Libre. I guess it does smell, it does kind of smell like Libre, but I don't know. It could be just me being like super uptight about it because I love Libre so much. So anyways, that is fairy tale. It's really pretty either way. It's a very pretty lotion. Um, yeah, so I'm, I am really excited to try layering it. Okay, next I picked up this one here. This is Berry Waffle Cone. I paid $7 for this. I don't know why. Um, this is, I've heard people say that this is a really nice scent though. This is Sweet Summer Berries Golden Waffle Cone and Creamy Vanilla. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need to try it on my, on my skin to see how much I like it. It is a really like nice, warm vanilla scent with like a, a, with like a hint of berry. So it's down to like $3 now though. I wish I would have just waited and next time I will know better, I'll just wait. I was just afraid it was gonna sell out before I could get it, so. But anyways, yeah, berry waffle cone. Okay, next I picked up this one here. This is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. This is another one I paid $7 for and I wish I hadn't. This is Creamy Cake Frosting Rainbow Sprinkles and Vanilla Bean. Um, not that I wish I hadn't because it doesn't smell good. It smells amazing. It smells like cake frosting. I'm so excited to wear this and layer some of my cake frosting scents, like oils over it. It's so good. It's such a good vanilla lotion. It's yummy and fragrant and super gourmand. I just wish I would have waited because I didn't need to pay the $7 for it. I could have, and I know that they do price adjustments, but I don't know. I just usually don't have time for all that, so. Yeah, I should have just waited until they dropped the price. But it's a really, really nice vanilla lotion. So anyways, that is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. Oh, we're getting close to the end, you guys. Only a few more things. I picked up the Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Spray. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna layer this over the lotion and as well as my Cherry Blossom um, Al Rahab Oil. Whoa. Oh, this is such an amazing scent. It's such a beautiful, kind of slightly powdery, clean floral. I love it so much. And I love the packaging on Japanese Cherry Blossom. I think it's beautiful. Okay, next I picked up this one here. This is Cozy Evening. Um, Cozy Evening is Lavender Blooms, Fresh Freeze, Fresh Freesia, and Cozy Musk. Oh, this is so pretty. This is really, really pretty. Like you get the powderiness of the lavender and I'm usually not the biggest fan of freesia, but it's so pretty in this lotion. 
it's like really, the freesia in this is really fresh and very, very slightly sweet. And then you just get these really beautiful, like the musks. It's just, it's, it really is kind of a, like a fresh, clean, cozy scent. And I am super excited about this. This is going to be one of those scents that is going to be great after I take a shower at night and I, you know, put on some lotion and this body spray before I go to bed. Um, it's going to be great for that. I'm super excited. So that is cozy evening. And then finally, last but not least, I picked up this one here. This is Misty Morning. I don't know why I picked this up. I'm not the biggest fan of this scent. This is Lily of the Valley Green Tea and White Amber. Actually, is this one I didn't love? Yeah, and it's because I was hoping that it would be more like Lily of the Valley forward, and it is, but there's too much tea in it. The tea takes away from the Lily of the Valley. Like, I don't get enough of the Lily of the Valley because the tea is too strong. And that's why. it's. I guess it's not that I don't like it. It's just... I was really, really hoping for more of the Lily of the Valley to come through on this one, and I got more tea than I wanted. But I'm sure it's still going to be beautiful and fresh and lovely on the skin. So yeah, I still am excited to give that a try. Oh my gosh. So anyways, you guys, that is the end of my Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul. I know I went absolutely stupid crazy this time because they had so much good stuff this time around. But anyways, if you guys made it through this whole video, holy cow thank you so much for sticking around for the whole thing i do hope that you all enjoyed this if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you in my next one